I don't know. Maybe he had his reasons. Maybe he thought he was doing me a favor. Or maybe he was just trying to look good for his cronies. Call this a game? Come on! It was humiliating. And suddenly I'd had enough of picnics, of guys who called you Sonny. Hey! What's the matter? You can't do any better than that? What's the matter? Can't you throw a decent fastball? What's the matter? Afraid I'll knock it out of the park? Yep. I was on a roll. Hey, Jack, the kid's right. <laughs> Then I rolled a tad too far. Come on, Dad, do me something besides... dead wood. Uh-oh. I didn't even look where I'd hit it. Just put my head down and ran. Rounded first. Flew by second and kept going. By the time I'd reached third, though, I was beginning to wonder who was minding the store here? Jack? Jack? I don't think so. Come on, move, Jack. There was only one thing to do. I crossed home plate and kept going. I didn't do much the rest of that afternoon. Took a long walk, got stung by a hornet, did some thinking. I couldn't understand what was happening to me, to my family. It's funny the thoughts that go through your head in those moments before death. I remembered Winnie. I wondered who was going to feed my fish. Hi, Dad. As it turned out, though, Dad hadn't come to kill me. Guess you heard about that, huh? Uh... Sorry. And then I realized, I guess Dad wore long pants, too. It's okay, Dad. It's a lucky shot back there. Should have ducked. Don't ever get old, Ken. Growing up is never easy. You hold on to things that were. You wonder what's to come. But that night, I think we knew it was time to let go of what had been and look ahead to what would be. Other days, new days, days to come. The thing is, we didn't have to hate each other for getting older. We just had to forgive ourselves for growing up. <laughs>